Hi, I'm the Book Tart, and I want to read you a not-so-random reading from the book I'm currently in the middle of, and I have the author Tracy Ellen at the Book Tart right now, so uh, that's why I wanted to make sure I did this right now. <laughs> um, Courted by Karma is book two in the adventures of Annabelle Axelrod, and it's a laugh-out-loud, giggle, snark, funny, smexy, uh, delightful time. I love this book. I love the dialogue. I love the heroine Annabelle. I love Luke. Um, so here's the cover. Courted by Karma by Tracy Ellen. And <laughs> um, it says, Annabelle Axelrod is back and so is Luke Drake. First it was her turn. Now it's his turn. Annabelle's life was sizzling. Now it's red hot. Can she handle the heat? Courted by Karma is the second volume in Tracy's um, in the Adventures of Annabel Axelrod. The story picks up where a date with fate left us hanging on Tuesday night at 11.59 p.m. After her last few crazy days, Annabelle's hell-bent on having nothing but a good time during the traditional upcoming Axelrod Women's Weekend. Cousin Layla and some friends are flying in from Florida for a visit despite Chief Jack's warning not to call him this year if they end up in jail again. The women plan to rock the town. But first our girl has to survive some Russians, some Mexicans, some parents, Thanksgiving and her biggest challenge ever, Luke Drake. And Mr. Secretive has plans of his own. Will it ever be our turn for Luke and Annabelle? Or is it her karma to get burned by the smoke and hot flames? Uh, so this is from, the excerpt I'm going to read is from the beginning-ish of the series, I mean of the story. And she's trying to give him his turn, his fantasy. And yeah, I'm laughing like every single page, highlighting so many lines. I love this book. Okay. It wasn't too late to text me, though. I pulled on a spike of his short black hair and taunted him in a playful tone. Not too late for you to work out. The flashlight followed and landed safely on top of the pack. Not too late for you to have the presence of mind to carry me off to the... I saw blueprints pinned up to a large bulletin board. My quick appraisal verified that they were drawings of an enormous barn. Barn instead of your house? What am I? Someone to be hidden away in an outbuilding like Annabelle the cow? I stopped, curling my toes, and the heavy boots fell off my bare feet with two loud thunks on the cement floor. I lay back in his arms, not breaking my eyes from the hold of his glittering stare the entire time. Luke, am I your dirty local secret? A grin slashed briefly across his face, and it looked heretical with his dark swarthiness and bold nose. Put a hoop in his ear and a cutlass in his hand, and he could be a marauding scourge of the seas from two hundred years ago. Then the grin disappeared, and his voice was smooth but edged with underlying steel. Are you finished questioning me? Without a beat, he went on. Because when you're done, I would like to answer. Carrying me over to the large desk that is completely cleared of any papers or clutter, he pushed a chair aside with a foot. Then he set me down on top, right in the middle. Luke stood in front of me and looked down at my upturned face. His face was no longer smiling, but his eyes were sparkling as they traveled over my features. In this hushed mood of quiet, I met his gaze, but didn't answer his rude response. My pulse was starting to pound faster while I waited to hear what he'd say next. He reached out and tugged off Crookie's big hat from my head. He held it up with an amused shake of his head before tossing it aside. My freed hair tumbled down in curling waves past my shoulders and fell nearly to my waist. Luke ran his long fingers through my hair, along the sides of my head. He was watching the blonde strands fall through his hands when I lowered my lids to enjoy his stroking. After I answer, then I would like to ask you a question. Make it two questions. Luke's mood is strange and what I've never seen before. He appears playful yet arrogant, or maybe it's just his nose. I hadn't really noticed much before tonight, but his bold nose gives a decidedly arrogant cast to a strong, rugged face. Feeling drugged with the rhythmic scalp massage, my eyes reluctantly open when he continued speaking. Then Annabelle? After you answer your answer to the second question, I want to hear more about... One black bat brow arched slowly. My turn? With a cherry on top? <laughs> I love Annabelle and Luke together and all of the characters in this story. 
and uh, yeah, I recommend Tracy Ellen and The Adventures of Annabelle Axelrod. Thanks from the book tart. Make sure you stop by and say hi.